Here we have a production function. Output equals the square root of labor times capital. Let's find the isoquant when our output level is 20. The expression for an isoquant is typically solved for k. This is because capital is always the vertical axis variable. So I'll substitute in 20 for q. I need to solve for k, so I need to get rid of the square root sign, and what I can do is square both sides to do so. So the left-hand side becomes 400, and the right-hand side L times k. Well, if I'm solving for k, I need to divide both sides by L, and this is the expression for the isoquant when quantity equals 20. We'll do the same thing, but now let's find the general expression for this production function's isoquants, meaning I won't substitute in any number for quantity, I'm just going to leave it as q. To solve for k, I need to square both sides, then I need to divide by L, and my general expression for an isoquant is k equals q squared over L. 